Well, welcome everyone to this week's edition of Long-Term Care Coffee Break with One America. I'm here with my friend and colleague, Kevin Fisher. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning. How are you doing today? Good. My name is Michael Florio. Kevin and I are both regional sales directors for One America in their long-term care division. And we've been bringing this to you for, gosh, going on, I guess, eight months now since this wonderful pandemic started. And, and uh, really excited about today because we have something, some news for you, uh, something that I think is very timely. And I'm going to let Kevin get into that. But before we do, just wanted to say that uh, we've got an opportunity for all of you that's consistent every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Be on the lookout for information coming from us uh, that we'll send out in the way of a nice invitation on Mondays. Kevin and I both send it out. And it gives you an opportunity to introduce long-term care to the consumer. Consumer-based uh, presentation. It's only 20 minutes. And it gives them an idea to really think about some questions they may have and drive that back to you as their producer. And once we find out who's on, we'll go back to you. They cannot register until... They indicate who invited them and referred them. So we'll give you a call on Wednesday, let you know who was, uh, who was on, which one of your clients participated, and uh, then you can follow up with them and, and get them some more details and information. So, Kev, I, I know that we've also discussed maybe doing this in a little more detail uh, in a way to customize this. So you want to tell everyone about the customization and really what we're talking about today? Yeah, what, what, we've, uh, what we've done is, well, we've done a couple of things. One is we've tuned up the bad boy uh, and we went out of our uh, our COVID gear and into you know actual our our, our real uniform, so we we've got a better uh, better presentation for you, uh, and it's a little more conversational, less less PowerPoint and more people. Um, so I think I think that's going to be a big big step in the in the more I guess relatable direction. And the and the second thing here is Michael mentioned um, we're going to be able to or offering the opportunity to customize it to you. So that you can share with your consumer, your clients, your prospects, specifically to you with their call to action being talked to you. But more importantly, when we customize, we're going to ask you to basically film a wrapper for us, introduce us, and at the end say, hey, if you want more information, contact me. And this is what I can offer to you. I'm going to ask maybe a minute or two of your time, but this is your content. You can con totally control it. And more importantly, it's customized, so you can do whatever you want with it, how you want to do it. Right. We just need to work with you so that we can make this happen. In order to pull it together, pretty simple. Contact either Michael or me and say, I'm interested in this. And we'll, we'll have to talk through the logistics so that we can make sure that we put everything in place for you. Pretty simple. Shoot an email, grab a phone, text us, whatever. Let us know if you're interested. We're here to try to help you create opportunity with your existing clients and build more opportunity from your prospects. So that's what we're offering uh, as it relates to an upgrade to our, our virtual consumer seminar, which, you know, when we rolled this thing out, we had low expectations. Um, well, we've exceeded that expectation, which is a good thing. We just want to step it up and, and, and try to make it more um, useful, if you will, for you to, uh, to reach out to more people and create more opportunity for a conversation. Now remember, our job isn't to sell anything for you. Our job is to help facilitate the conversation between you and your client or prospect. Right. So anyway, that pitch is over. What we're really here to talk about today is something that's going on later in November, on November 21st, as a matter of fact. We have some pricing changes coming, coming down the pipe for Annuity Care 1 and Annuity Care 2. So these are... Uh, these are pretty important. So, you know, the, the next few minutes, uh, Michael's going to share with you uh, some of the details around this thing. Michael, what do you got? So, Kevin, uh, November 21st is the date that we're adjusting the pricing of the annuity care uh, on the continuation of benefits on all the inflation options. That's a Saturday, by the way. Um, this update applies in all approved states. More on that in a second. Now, back in April, you might remember that we talked about uh, launching a pricing adjustment to annuity care to well, continuation time. of benefits also. Um, and that was in certain states. So on November 21st, we'll be launching the same adjustment in additional states. So if this feels like deja vu all over again, a la Yogi Berra, um, it is. It's just the same thing, just in new states. Uh, the state approvals tracking sheet, and I know you're going to go there in your mind because that's the first place I went to is, well, what, what states? You know, give me an update. We have an up-to-date uh, tracking spreadsheet 
showing the most current states and their approval for both changes on, on the continuation of benefits for annuity care and the pricing adjustment to annuity care too. Um, Kevin, how can they, what's the easiest way for them to get uh, a hold of that tracking spreadsheet info? Well, the, the most up-to-date information is going to come from uh, our sales desk. Uh, right. So please, the, their contact information is in front of you. Reach out to Jen Wagner or Justin Fox, our internals. Um, they will have the most current information as it relates to uh, Annuity Care 1 and Annuity Care 2. A couple things to remember here. Annuity Care 1 is approved in some states. And annuity Care 2 is approved in some other states. Like New Jersey has one approved where the other is it? New Hampshire is a similar way. So you're really going to want to check on that anyway. From an illustrative standpoint, if you go to the Care Solutions Calculator, remember that calculator will only let you illustrate Annuity Care 2, and it will only allow you to illustrate those pro any product in the states from which they're approved. For illustrations for Annuity Care 1, you're going to have to either contact Jen or Justin or log into uh, our one source online and get behind the firewall to run the full illustration. Again, just leading into Jen and Justin, they can give you a hand. Yeah. A couple of things I want to point out here that's, that are important, and that's the transition rule. The, November 20th is the last day that we will accept a submission for either Annuity Care 1 or Annuity Care 2 it, to hold on to those old, old uh, rates. So remember, November 20th, it's a hard day. And like Michael said, 21st is a Saturday, so the 20th is an end of business Friday. Got to be, got to, got to be in place. If you've already um, completed your product training for one and two, you don't need to uh, complete training for the reprice. That's all well and good. That's perfect. No additional work on your part. All it is is a pricing change. It's not a new right. product. Right. And remember, it's really important to remember. It's annuity care one and annuity care two. Both are our fixed annuity. It does not impact indexed annuity care which is our fixed index annuity. So it's annuity care one and annuity care two, our two oldest annuity products in the portfolio. And remember, annuity care one is what got this whole conversation started back in 1998. And that, the, the second product that, that came rolling out, annuity care two, was the most efficient transfer vehicle of, of leverage. So we've got, we've got a lot of uh, strength history and leading edge stuff. Now, a couple of other reminders here. With annuity care, we can write up to the age of 85. With it, with annuity care too, we can go up to the age of 80. Remember from an underwriting perspective, with annuity care, in any format, it's never more than a phone interview. If we're doing annuity care one and it's base only, we're underwriting off of the application. Mm -hmm. So the real principle stays the same. It's talking about leverage and converting tax deferred accumulation into tax-free long-term care. Our real focus in change has been on to the viability of the product in the name tending good stewardship for our consumers because we are a mutual company our consumers are also owners of what we got going on we want to maintain that block of business as being secure not just for today but going forward 10 15 20 30 years so we we're looking at the the biggest sensitivity and that's on our continuation of benefit rider specifically around inflation Remember, the opportunity here for you is with existing non-qualified deferred annuities with gain in transforming those existing gains into tax-free long-term care simply via 1035 exchange. So there's a lot of stuff and a lot of opportunity and nothing's come off the plate. It's just simply a small refresh. If you're, if you're going to ask me about how that plays out, I can't tell you. I haven't seen the numbers yet, but you, if you want to see numbers, please contact Justin and Jen. Michael, do you have anything else? Well, I just want to wrap it up, Kev, but just, you know, kind of to recap and, and put a Reader's Digest uh, synopsis on that whole thing. If someone has annuity money and wants to do an easy 1035 exchange, there's a good reason to look at our annuity solutions. If there's a question mark about the client's health, underwriting certainly um, a little easier on our annuity-based products compared to our asset care, whole life products. And, uh, and of course, if someone's over the age of 80, we can on our two of our annuity based products go up to age 85. So three good reasons why to consider that at all, aside from the fact that, hey, if you've got something pending, 
this is the time if your state is going up uh, from you know from where their pricing was before. So that's it, Kev. Um, I'm just going to leave people with our thought for the week. Came from uh, someone that some experts believe might be one of the best writers, authors in the history of this country. Uh, he was a humorist and author. Um, he wrote a little novel by the name of The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, and he said this. He said, worrying is like paying a debt you don't owe. So thank you for those words to, uh, to Samuel so Clemens, or better known by his pen name of uh, Mark Twain. So don't you worry about anything this week. Don't be paying any debts you don't have to, but please remember to come on back and see us next week. Kev, thanks for a great episode and good information. Coffee Thank break. You. Have a great I'm week. Out. See you next week.